So for instrumentation, soprano part, we will have flute, oboe, clarinets one and two, and trumpet one. Or the uh, contra alto line, we'll have clarinets two and three, alto sax, and trumpets two and three. Amen. Um, a note, um, the contra alto part divides into two parts in one measure, actually two measures. And so um, the trumpets are going to play the top part, the clarinet and alto are going to play the lower part. Right. Um, tenor line will be done with tenor sax, horn, and the trombone section. Uh, and, is that okay? That's high B flat for us. That may be a little rough, but I think it's going to be right. Because, well, the tenor part, those are actually all in octave down oh, in treble. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, that's yeah, how the tenor part is in vocal Man, and all that stuff. It's weird, I know. <laughs> So it's um, and then bass part, we're going to have uh, euphonium and bass clarinet. All right. Yes? You said clarinet two on soprano and contra. Let me clarify. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, clarinet one and two are on the soprano line. Clarinet three is on the alto. Line. Oh, but soon you are on the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. System we were just on. Uh, measure one, two, three, four, five on that system.
They see me all the time. Okay. What measures would you say you're the most uncomfortable with? Um. Let's just say fermatas. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, sometimes on the fermatas, I'm not sure if I want to have, like, uh, on some of the measures, like, all the instruments hold, and then, like, the soprano line has eighth notes, and I'm not sure how to show, like, holding the rest of the instruments in just the soprano line moves on with my okay. notes there. You, you went back to, I think it was bar, bar five after something, bar, bar five, what was it? Um, the fifth oh. measure of the third system. Fifth measure of the third system. Were you happy with the way that measure went the second time you did it? It was say no. No. Yeah, because <laughs> because not everybody was quite sure where we were, and we went on, and that's okay. So let's go back to that and see that one more time. Fifth bar of the third system. Can we start um, a measure before that? Positively, that would be great. Fourth measure of the third system. Yeah. That's what I meant. How many uh, it's easy. How many is right before the fermata? Uh, it's the Measure right before the fermata. Okay. Yeah. The. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And uh, pick up into that. <laughs> that what I'd like you to do is take the baton and do this Spow. and just put it down and just hold it and then come <coughs> forward and pray not like some big reach over the stand folks over but just like come forward and up and prep and go into the next whatever try it so, so you don't have to feel like how am I going to be you know fly fishing okay just spow. just drop the stick and then just go with the notes as you would as a player, <clears throat> and give the cue for the next, you know, just prep and then try it. Let's try it. Same place, please. Sorry. <laughs> so busy trying to show every little thing. Man, on a <coughs> model like that, boom, put it where you need it, and then if anything, you can, you, everybody knows who Caesar Milan the dog whisperer is, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Here's Caesar Milan not walking into a room full of pit bulls. Right? This is not Caesar Milan walking in front of a group to conduct. This is Caesar Milan walking into the room, right? Little bitty guy, and he's like, who's the biggest guy in the back row that wants a piece of this? And the dogs are like, what? <laughs> right? And, and, and this is the thing. You need to just sometimes just, boom, put it where you want it to be. And then move, just you can emotionally move with it. And it can be this shh, and then transition. Know what you transition, what you prep is for the next. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, one more time. <laughs> Listen to them breathe. Okay? Ready? Go again. Breathe less. Breathe less. So you want to be careful that we don't go. And you're going, whoa, that's not the breath I'm taking. You know what I mean? Listen to them one more time. Listen. That was a really, really bad cue on my part, wasn't it? But I didn't do it to give them the entrance. I did it to get them to breathe. Mm -hmm. So you want to breathe, and then we'll breathe with them. So it's ready?
And what I really like is da -da -da -dee. But you could really feel a sense of closure there before the pickup to the next, yes? Yes? Much better. Um, trumpet, you should have felt like he's giving this huge crescendo. He's all the way out here and then has to come down and you're like, dude, I'm not done crescendoing yet. That was kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was so way was ahead of that crescendo and ended up like here and nowhere else left to go. Yeah, and you still had quite a bit more. And so you have to be careful, I think, getting way out. Just kind of, you can bring it here and always think of the crescendo as almost as being a bell curve crescendo, mm -hmm. you know, um, right? Especially with upper instruments. If I'm playing snare drum and you're playing trumpet, we've got to be careful that it's not really bright and harsh. So you want to kind of hold it back and then, and so with, as a conductor, dee da da dee. If you want to even crescendo to the release, you can do that, but not find yourself fully extended at that point and, and nowhere to go. Okay? Man, so much better. We're so going to move on to the next. Yes. Great job. Yeah. Great job.